Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our September 2022 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, and let's see what we have here. So, we start the month with the Six of Swords. Okay, and the Six of Swords has you turning away from something, moving away from something, sailing off, okay, away from the, co the, the chaos, the drama, moving towards calmer waters, okay? So you've had enough of whatever's been going on in your life. And you want to move towards balance and harmony. So you're leaving behind someone, you know, or maybe something, okay, that, you know, maybe you've done all you could do and, and there's nothing more you could do. So you have to move away from the situation. This card is also telling you that once you do that, you know, matters in your life are going to improve and the harmony is going to be restored. Okay, so if you've been experiencing difficult times, this card assures you that, you know, matters are going to improve and the harmony is going to be restored in your life for sure. Uh, because you're doing something about it. You're not staying stuck. You're sailing away from it. You're moving away from it. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Ten of Wands. So you're burdened, okay? You're taking on way too much. And we all do this. I, I'm not judging anyone. I am this type of person who just bites off more than they could chew, trying to do everything myself, not asking for help, and then you risk burnout, and then you're no good uh, You're no good to anyone for anything. You're not able to even help yourself at some point. So this is telling you maybe you need to say no to some people, okay? You need to let down the burden, okay? And maybe start delegating tasks to other people that, you know, maybe you're not carrying their weight. This could be people at home. This could be people in the workplace. Everybody's situation is going to be different. But, you know, this is a card where burnout is, you know, right around the corner. Okay. And like I said, we, we've all been there, myself included. I got to learn how to pace myself because I want to do too much all the time. And it's not good. It's a very bad habit. So there's going to be some type of need for balance in the middle of the month because you're going to be feeling very overwhelmed with something. And then at the end of the month, we have the King of Wands. Now, I don't consider these cards gender specific. This could be a man or a woman entering your life at the end of the month. Okay. And this is a very fiery, passionate type of person. Um, this is the kind of person that would be like an entrepreneur. Uh, maybe this is you taking on this energy at the end of the month where you're going to take some type of a risk because the King of Wands is a, a risk taker. He's a go-getter. He's very enthusiastic. He's the kind of person that gets bored easily because his attention is very short unless it has something to do with whatever he's passionately involved with. It's a very passionate, creative type of person. And like I said, this could be you at the end of the month feeling this way that you're taking on these personality traits or this could be someone that you're dealing with at the end of the month that is a, a very passionate type of person okay however it could also mean being quick tempered and hot tempered and, and you know maybe being selfish impatient or even you know controlling okay so you want to watch out for that because this is the kind of person that could be overconfident and you know come off as being arrogant you know, with an inflated ego. So you also want to watch out for that if you're starting to feel that way at the end of the month. Or like I said, you could be dealing with a difficult person like that. So to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So be aware of, you know, possibly someone entering the scene at the end of the month, or you may be feeling um, this way as well. What an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to claim it, Claim it down in the comment section down below. Share it and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.